Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa and this is Brunette Wig Place. I'm so glad that you are here today. Before I get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. And then every time I post a new wig related video, you will get a notification letting you know that I have posted something new. So I am so excited to show y'all this wig today. This is Drive by Ellen Vella and the color is my beloved chocolate rooted. You know, you all know I love that brunette. So I had ordered drive back in December and she was on back order and my back order date kept getting pushed up and pushed up and pushed up. Like I think she came out like at the end of November. And so I ordered her right when she came out and um, I finally gave up on the back order. I'm not very good with back orders. A lot of times I cancel back order <laughs> orders because I just decide, well, I'll just try something else and I'll wait till she's more available. So anyway, so after I had canceled that back order, I really was still wishing that I had her and I saw other reviews of her and I was just thinking, oh, I still wanna try that wig so badly. So I got a little text from Wig Outlet one day that they were having an extra 20% off and they gave you, if you get their text messages, they let you come into the sale like an hour before everybody else. And so, I quick got on there and I looked and they had a drive in chocolate rooted and I've seen them on there before and they go just like this. And I had the extra 20% off and it was already discounted so I bought it. So I am so excited to finally get to try her. So here she is, Drive by Ellen Villa. So these are heat friendly fibers and um, she, if you have seen the photos online of her, there are photos of the model with her curled. I just have her pretty much straight out of the box because that's how I like to show these wigs to you all. But she is heat friendly so you can and curl her and in her box she comes with instructions for temperatures and things like that so it is kind of nice that these are fibers that you can curl if you want to have you know add curl to the style just remember that if you add curl to the style the fibers are going to have memory so until you straighten it back out it will continue to have that curl or wave pattern that you have put in it so if you decide you want it to go back to the straight style you're going to have to get your flat iron out and straighten her back out so anyway so she is just super super cute so let me do a turn and I'll show her to you all the way around and then we'll get into all of her specifications. So really, really cute. Now she has a middle part, but mine is kind of wanting to go to the right side, which is okay with me because I'm not a real big middle part person, but I'll show you the, um, the middle part and the lace front in just a little while, just a few minutes. So really, really cute. I like the way the hair, you know, hangs. She reminds me a lot of Marion by John Renault, very similar. I think she's a little longer than On Point by Raquel Welch, or at least on me. So here's my right side. The back. My left. And back to the front. So like I said, cap construction wise, she does have a middle part and she has a lace front that is extended on, uh, you know, down onto the ear tabs. So she does have a pretty, you know, large, uh, lace front and when I show you the inside of the cap I'll explain why you are able to take her part over one direction or the other if the middle part thing is not so much your thing so um, as far as the lace front the lace front is nice she is kind of heavy in the front she's you know almost all one length but the lace front looks really good here is the like I said let, let me show you the part let me show you it parted in the middle just so you can see it as an exact middle part. The thing is, like I said, this one is not wanting to stay a middle part and I'm okay with that. But there's your part for the middle part. The middle part also is pretty thin. So you're not gonna have a lot of room with the middle part. If she wants to go over a little to one side, you're gonna have to change your part at the front. Her ear tabs are good. I have good coverage. I've got just a tiny bit of bio hair there that shows, but so if you have more bio hair, you might have more that shows there. And they've got a good, good size piece of metal, all that good stuff. So really, really pretty. Okay, I'll pop her off and we can look at the inside of her cap. Okay, interior cap construction for Ellen Villa Drive. So as you can see, we have a dedicated middle part there, but when you get up here to your lace front, you do have more room there where you can take your part from middle to one side or the other if you don't like the middle part. I don't know what it is. I'm just not a huge fan of the middle part. It looked great on me in the 70s when it was popular. When I was a little girl, I had pretty much long straight hair like this, <laughs> but now I'm not a fan. So, so anyway, next to that middle part, the middle part does go all the way back to the crown, which I do like. 
but you know, it's just not real wide. So there's not gonna be a lot of options for changing the part within this parting space. You're gonna have to just change it at the front. She has closed weft on either side of the part. No permittees on here that I can find. So here's her lace front extension down onto the ear tab, which is nice because then when you pull her back, you have a nice realism there in the front. Uh, it's got the felt ear tabs, good size piece of metal in there, extended nape, Velcro adjusters, open wefting all through the cap, making her cool and comfortable. Very nice. So outside looking at this chocolate rooted. So you can see the darker brown base there and the rooting. This one doesn't have a real long root on it or anything, but it definitely has a little bit of rooting towards the part there. And then you can see how we go into these um, auburny, lighter brown colors. Very pretty. And then lace front out here in the natural light. And then there's her part. Like I said, mine is drifting over to one side, so this is not exact middle, but I like it like that. Okay, so as you can see, that chocolate rooted is just such a pretty color. I just, I, I love this brunette. So anyway, can't say enough about how much I love this brunette. Okay, so as far as styling, she is ear tuckable. Like I said, the ear tabs are nice. Sometimes I just hold my ear tab down a bit when I tuck behind the ears. Um, she's ear tuckable, but it's just slightly bulky behind my ears. I think because all of the hair is one length and there's no layering. So um, just something to note, it's not uncomfortable or anything. I can get it behind my ears, but it, especially on this side, it feels a little thicker maybe, I guess, because it's parting, because my part is drifting over to this side. It feels a little thicker on this side. But she's really easy with glasses, no problem. You can put glasses up on your head. Very easy. Really, really nice. And then, of course, you could style her with all kinds of clips, headbands, you know. She's just really easy. She does have enough length for a pony. You could pull her, you know, back half up, half down. You could pull her into a low pony. I think I would do a low pony because she's not super long as opposed to, you know, a higher pony. Really, really cute. Let me grab a headband and I will show her to you. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't have my headband handy. Okay, so I'll show her to you with a headband. She's really cute. So that's a cute way to style her as well. I do want to say this cap is, you know, it's these Ellen Villa wigs are petite average, but there's a lot of extra room in this cap. I don't know if you can see that. You know, you can see I kind of have some some slouch. It fits me okay. I definitely would tape down the lace front on this one just to make sure that she doesn't move on me throughout the day. And, um, you know, she's not so big that like, it's impinging on the back of my ears or anything, but there's definitely some room. So I think if you're average and maybe just slightly above average, this one's gonna work for you just fine. I remember my Ellen Villa touch was a little bit like that too, and I've definitely seen her on women with larger circumferences, so. So just something to note about her. So she is just super, super cute. I, like I said, I did purchase her at wigoutlet.com and I will put a link down below. I don't know if she's available from them right now, but that is where I purchased her with my own funds. So I thank you so much for watching and until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.